Hi guys, I am at Basilton, uh, visiting the Basilton jetty and currently looking at these images which show the history of Basilton in 1834, how this uh, jetty came into existence and also how it was close to demolition and uh, what the community did to save it. So um, this jetty is actually two and a half hours drive south of Perth and is situated at the northern gateway to the Margaret River wine region in the seaside resort town of Basilton. I do have a drone but I won't be flying it as I am a law abiding citizen and drones are not permitted to fly within 30 meters of people or directly above people here. So let's go further and see uh, from where we can buy the ticket. And uh, this is um, Basilton Jetty uh, gift shop and uh, museum. And from here you can buy the tickets to have an access uh, to uh, the underwater observatory and also the train. You can learn the colourful history of the jetty built in 1865 through two interactive timelines on wall touch screens with three centuries worth of images, videos and stories, many of which have been contributed by the community. The museum is open seven days a week and entry is free. It is a heritage uh, listed uh, jetty and is one of the most recognizable icons in Western Australia. It currently stands at 1.8 km in length, extending over the protected geography bay, making it the longest wooden pile jetty in the southern hemisphere and second longest in the world. So when you see some structure, you always think why this uh, structure was built, you know, and when was it built? So this jetty was completed at the end of 1865. It was just 176 meters in length at that point of time. And from 1872 to 1907, many extensions were made to the jetty, making it uh, almost 1,344 meters long. And in 1960, the last extension of a mere 60 meter was completed, bringing it to its uh, current length of 1,841 uh, meters. This is the Stalker Preston Express, uh, which is electric jetty train. It took its maiden voyage in June 2017 and is currently powered by solar panels and is the first of its kind in Australia. It is 90-seater train and includes six seats in each uh, section, accessible carriages for wheelchairs and walkers. To board this train, you will need a ticket. Uh, tickets are valid for one return trip and can be used as a jetty day pass. The return jetty train trip approximately takes uh, 45 minutes. Upon completion, it became the longest wooden jetty in the Southern Hemisphere. And uh, do you know why it was made? Uh, during 1864, many ships were landing in the bay and thereby avoiding taxes and government charges. Well, there were no income taxes at that uh, time and the government uh, relied heavily on the tax which they gained from imports and exports. So the need for the jetty arose and that is why this jetty was constructed. The jetty also began to attract divers from all over the world and is now considered to be one of the Australia's top 10 dive sites. 
uh, and also this 158 year old heritage listed Bustleton Jetty is run by a not for profit community based organization uh, proceeds from tour and ticket sales go back into conserving the iconic jetty so that future generations can also enjoy This is the entrance to the underwater observatory which you can enter only after having a valid ticket. I'm making a separate video on this. Please do watch that as well and uh, do share uh, this video with your friends and family so that they know there is a beautiful attraction in uh, Bustleton and uh, do pay a visit over here whenever you are in Australia or when you are in Western Australia. Thank you.